Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Pets and Picks and Parlays. Welcome back to another edition of Bonnet with Tim Earl. It is college football Saturday, so yes, we'll have some games to talk to you guys about. Games we'll talk about, Wake Forest Old Dominion, ECU and App State, Western Michigan and Iowa, Tennessee and, and Florida, and then we'll finish it out with the Qs in Purdue. Before we jump into this one, uh, make sure you guys are checking out the picksandparlays.net website. All of our plays for the Saturday card are out. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, there's a nine pack for early, nine pack for late, because we got a lot of college football games for tomorrow. Make sure you guys are checking that out on the uh, picksandparlays.net website. Also, make sure you guys are checking out Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we appreciate everybody following us on all of those. We're really trying to grow the Earl Sports Bets brand. Let's jump into it. Wake Forest and Old Dominion are going to go at it to start it off. Wake Forest is a 14-point favorite with a total of 61. Uh, Old Dominion coming in 2-0, 1-1 and against the spread. Uh, Old Dominion 1-1, 1-1 one one, uh, one one against the spread. Uh, but I'm not looking at a spread in this one. I'm going to look at the total, and I just think Wake Forest opens up. Uh, Old Dominion's not a good defense. They've allowed 36 and 31 in their first two games. I think this one's going over this one as well because the teams that Old Dominion has played, which were Virginia – and uh, ULL, those two teams scored 36 and 31. Yeah, Wake Forest is scoring 45. Uh, I think this one goes way over. I think you get a little bit from Old Dominion, 17 to 20 points, over 61 between these two sides. Let's head to my boys, ECU and App State. Um, App State's an eight-point favorite, total of 47 and a half. And ECU's heading into their third game, looking for their second touchdown. Yeah, I'm taking the under. Uh, this ECU's uh, passing is non-existent. Uh, they, it shows that they are missing Holton Ehlers from last year. They are missing C.J. Johnson from last year. They are missing Isaiah Woodstead from last year. They are missing a lot of players from last year, and this is a rebuild year for ECU. I would lean towards App State, but I'm, I'm not grabbing App State. Uh, I, can't, I can't do that. Um, just, I'm not laying eight points with App State right now. They're also coming off of a tough game against uh, UNC. So uh, I'm grabbing the under. I think ECU's defense can keep them in check, but I am not a fan of the offenses under in the App State game. Let's go over to Western Michigan and uh, Iowa, where Iowa is a 28.5 point favorite with a total of 42. You know the funny part is about this game? That Iowa is a 28.5 point favorite. When was the last time we saw Iowa score 28.5 points? And 28 points. Yeah. No, I, I don't remember either. Uh, I think they did it once last year. All of last year. So, no, I don't think they should be this big of favorites. We're grabbing Western Michigan plus the points. You can grab the under if you want because Western Michigan could probably get shut out in this game stay under. Um, we're grabbing Western Michigan plus the points. The fact that I was this big of a favorite is um, hilarious. So, Western Michigan plus 28 and a half. Let's head to the Swamp where Tennessee is taking on Florida. Uh, Tennessee is now a five and a half point favorite with a total of 56. And um, I'm on the balls. Originally, before the last Saturday game, I looked at this one because this was one of the big games of the week. I went, I'm going to be back in Florida. No. You saw that performance about uh, from Tennessee against Austin PA? Yeah, it wasn't pretty, which makes me like Tennessee even more. A lot of people will see them struggle against Austin PA. There's no way they're covering against Florida. They haven't won in Florida in 2003, since 2003. Yeah. Give me the balls in this one. We'll take a minus the five and a half. Final game we'll talk about. Is the Syracuse Orange and the Purdue Boilermakers. And um, you get Syracuse as a two and a half point favorite. 57 is your total. Syracuse coming into this one 2 0. Granted, they've played Colgate and they've played Western Michigan. Not good opponents. Granted, they've outscored both of them 113 to 7. Um, so they've definitely done their part of what they've needed to do to win. Purdue. On the opposite side, we've seen them lose to Fresno State. They did beat Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's not good. Uh, Syracuse is definitely better. And uh, I'm going to take the Cuse to keep rolling. Um, I, I just I think the Cuse are the better team. I think Purdue's going to have a really rough year. We'll grab the Orange, minus the two and a half. Those are the five free picks for this one. Once again, if you guys are interested in all of the plays, they're all over on the picksandparlays.net website. There's two packs, nine each. Go ahead. Go ahead and jump on them if you guys are interested in that. And then uh, follow Earl Sports Bets on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. We appreciate everybody who does. Recap time over.
in Old Dominion. Under in East Carolina. Uh, Western Michigan plus the points. Tennessee minus the points. And Syracuse minus the points. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.